Hi, Janelle here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. What I have next is a clip. It's about three minutes from my class that I posted a few days ago. We were making calendula cold cream, and that was a spinoff of Rosemary Gladstar's Rose Cold Cream. And so I have the bigger part of the video already in here on YouTube. This is a shorter part, not a lot of speaking in this section. I am blending up the oil ingredients and the water ingredients together to make this whipped substance that is the cold cream that you then put in containers and store in the fridge, but can use daily on your skin, face, arms. It's a wonderful wonderful um, recipe. You have to watch the first video to get that recipe. So please like, subscribe, hit the bell button, comment, check out my description down below. Go into my link tree. There is everything that is me, including my uh, sign up for my newsletter, my books, my link to Mount Rose Herb and all kinds of other goodies. So thanks and come again soon. There you go. So what I'm doing here is using this pulse blender to blend together the oil ingredients, which do does include vegetable oil. Um, I use avocado oil. And then I also have my blender with peas or pea dust. And you put all of these ingredients together and you make what winds up being see, like a whipped is, cream. This is how I work here. <laughs> There's aloe gel in here and the first part of this class video I do have the recipe so you want to go back and watch that that's a few days ago but you can see here it's turning to this like white creamy consistency um, beautiful consistency it makes a really good nice cream. did this at a double batch which was a little easier I think to blend. Yeah, the more you have. Mm -hmm. I think Could I should you freeze this. Um probably. Hmm. Could you make a big batch and then put it in the freezer and Yeah, I think I did a double good. batch cuz this is not blending as nice. It definitely seems like whipped cream now. <laughs> I'm gonna get 
get it. So a third of a cup in a pint, and then like people to blend it in the a bowl. A third of the jar. A third of the jar, I guess. And then I fill the whole jar.